welcome to Dinia's vlog. Well, we're, um, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and being happy. And um, I wish you are um, having a Merry Christmas and uh, stay safe with uh, Corona. And uh, what we're going to do today is spring on and chicken. Yay, 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 spring onions. Um, I'm gonna show you the ingredients then let's um, go to the talking so first uh, well, the main thing we're gonna need is a half kilo half cage half a kilo chicken that's nicely um, cut it into pieces you can see we're gonna need the um, spring onion we're gonna this bowl is this hard part and this bowl is the soft part, so you can see it's plus flexible, and this is flexible, this is not very flexible, and this is not very flexible, so that's how you can see. This is like more thicker, so that's how you can find how it is flexible and not flexible, or hard, or not hard. And this is a little bit white, lightish green, and this is um, darker green, and this is at the bottom, this is at the top. We had two spares to show you. It smells so good. Turmeric powder, chili powder, coriander powder, cumin seeds. You can see we're not gonna put this one that thing. Just a little, 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 just a little bit like that. And finally, ginger garlic paste. Da 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 da. Do you like my chef set? Yay, chef! Let's get cooking again. Um. And uh, um, a part of the time, my baby brother's just gonna come in, come in my vlog. Say hi. Hi, viewers. Hi, viewers. Like and subscribe. Do it in your vlog. Bye. Bye, guys. So that's good. Bye, Bye. guys. Um, this is a great, nice starter. The spring onion. The like there's like two parts and these two parts spring onion gives a nice aroma smell ah, it smells so good and it smells like so good with the chicken and we're gonna cook it and then the plating and all of that when it comes out it's gonna be amazing when you see it um i'm so i'm already my my tongue is like i want to taste the chicken so i'm gonna show you how to do it and we're gonna do it in the stove and first we're gonna add cumin a little bit and roast it and the oil like no yeah until it gets nice and then we're getting this and this and the masala so now let's get in that now we're in the cooking part and first we're gonna need to add a three spoons of oil one so my dad helped me a little bit. He added four spoons of oil, and then he added the cumin powder um, as this. I mean, cumin, not even cumin. There we go. Cumin. There we go. Um, he added that. Um, I think so. My dad will put what um uh, gum is um down like in this area. And English, so I um, mean. English, so you can see what I'm saying because I forgot the English word. And then he put this um the thick part, of the white part I told you, I showed you, the strong part. That's why he put it in next. A big bowl of it, the blue one, and mix it nicely so the um the pot doesn't get black up and get um, a little bit of stuff. We need to roast it slowly until the onion cooks into a nice soft um good padam so my uh, we can put the chicken in and then we can mix it and then we'll do the other processes so keep watching to the end and how so you know how to make um spring onion chicken and with a, it's a good starter if you have like plain rice so you can have this See nicely mix it. Um, mix it without um um. This is cumin seed that I added, and we you can see it kind of melted and it's nicely cooked. You need to add ginger garlic paste, and after the ginger garlic paste is raw smell, like after we saute it nicely, 
the rat tail goes away, we can add the chicken so it can be so amazing yummy. I'm like so excited to eat it. Mmm. I can still think of it. We are going to add one spoon of ginger garlic paste, so you can see. You need to saute it well, so it doesn't get burned. Just saute it fast. Ask your parents help for this, and if the kid's doing this, ask your parents help, because I'm doing this with my parents help, and I can't really do it, and the ginger garlic paste tastes nicely, and you can mix it. Now we added the chicken, and you can see I asked my dad to help me, because I don't know really how to do the chicken. And if we're doing the chicken fryer, ask your parents help, because it's very heavy to do it. So you can see. And, uh, um... Um, let the chicken cook by its own uh, water, but if you want, and then the water is not enough from the chicken, and you can just add a little water, just a little bit, but not too much. If, if you add too much, the chicken water and um, too much water will be very watery and not be like a nice to roast. It will be something like a curry something, more than a curry, because, because chicken has water, if you add so much water, um, as I told you, we'll be into a little bit of more watery curry, and you don't want that. We want, we want spring onion chicken. Roasted spring onion got mixed very well into the chicken. As you can see, it's getting cooked. Now, first, we're going to add the turmeric powder first. Always first, turmeric powder first. A little bit of a, um, a little, um, something like this. So you will, um, you'll need a turmeric powder. You'll need turmeric powder this much. And now we're gonna add the chili powder, um, as much as you want. Spread it all over. Then you get the chilliness flavor. You can see in, um, the chicken is getting a bit um, not cooked. We got the word. Now we're gonna add the coriander powder. My dad nicely mixed the chicken. You can see coriander powder. We added um this much coriander powder, but you can see um as much as you want. We added that much so the flavoring from the coriander powder can come to our I mean cumin powder. Coriander. Why are you getting mixed? The coriander powder, um, we're adding as much as we want. The coriander powder gives a nice flavor and texture to our chicken. And you can add as much of um, flavor to your chicken. Next, we're going to add salt. As much as you want. One more. A little bit more. There. My dad added a little bit of water and to cook a little bit so we can cook. And now we're going to add the lid so you can see the steam. And boom. Now the chicken's going to cook in there. We're going to cook this for 10 to 15 minutes so it can get nice and cooked and juicy. And then it can be so, um, walali, um, walat. So amazing. And it's going to be so amazing. And I'm like... The aroma already, the aroma's um, super. Been, I'm so excited and to see how it's gonna come out. It's gonna be so amazing and thanks for trying this um, um, recipe and watching my vlog and uh, now let's go. Now we are here, um, the chicken is nicely roasted, you can see. Nicely baked. And after that, our topping, for, we're going to add the soft part of the spring onion, as I told you, the um, upper part, and I'm going to add it now, all of it, just like sprinkle it, okay. and so even if the thick part of the spring onion is um, um, nicely cooked, is this? Spring kind of spring onion is even um it looks more prettier and it gives us a little bit of taste when you eat it because that's why it's called spring onion chicken because you add spring onion basically 
so now I'm gonna eat it. Now let's go to the eating part, and my tummy's grumbling for that part. guys the um the aroma and the taste um the masala binded in the chicken nicely and the spring onion flavor and the smell gives us a nice head up start for nice rices and uh, don't forget to uh, try this um recipe don't forget to like share and comment and the main thing is spring onion so you can see now I am gonna taste it. Um, come on, let's taste it. First, I'm gonna taste the masala, and then let's taste the chicken. So let's see how the masala came. I I got a spring onion with it. The spring onion cooked nicely with the when we put the spring onion and cook nicely. And now now let's um taste the chicken. So good. Perfect kind of chili powder, not very um um not very spicy, not very not spicy. It's a perfect kind of um equal. Both is equal. Super um I hope you like this video guys and um try this recipe, it is so good. It's so amazing. It's a good starter for rices. Amazing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment. And click the bell button to get more yummy and delicious and um, more cool and inspiring um, uh, recipes like this. And thank you for watching this video till the end. And bye-bye. See you later, guys. And enjoy this.